So, um, just where we paused, um, we were at, um, we tried to understand that uh, what what were these levels about, like you said, when, when, it, when you went deeper into something, you moved up, but what were the earlier steps? The earlier um, steps at the beginning of something, mm-hmm. which comes around to the other thing we're going to be talking about later, the stages of the drama. Uh, so there's the warm up, the action, and then there's the sharing. And so, the, you'd be somewhere on the stage, one of those levels, in the warm up period. Mm-hmm. Then you move up to the round stage, and the there would be the action. And then you may well move down again for the sharing and sit together on the edge of the stage. Uh, and then the audience would share. You would have been there. So this was the idea. So then when Marina went to America in the 1930s, he had a sponsor. Um, so he didn't have a lot of money himself, mm. but different people sponsored him. And one in particular, he was uh, um, Gertrude Tone, mm-hmm. the actor Francois Tone's mother, who spent some time in the sanatorium. And he built the stage. So he had the stage built, and that stage is still in America today. You can go there and see it um, in New York, upstate New York. And how large is that? It's very large. Like, I can't large is this room? Larger. Larger. Okay. So, how it is, is there's a circular stage, mm. wooden. Mm. There's another level. Like stairs going up, there's three levels. Yes. So there's the ground, the next level, the next level, and then the top level. And then all the action happens up there. You can go downstairs, and there's pillars that hold up the balcony. And then there's a door at the back where you can go through, go up some stairs, and then you can enact gods and villains. Wow. And all kinds of imaginary things or real things to denote the authority. Or the otherworldly, yeah. Lord of the Rings. You could do a magnificent Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and uh, the the stage at the back of the stage, it was uh, it was felt on the wall, so if people were angry, they could pick up a chair and smash it against the wall. So they wanted the maximum of expression that we can't and oughtn't do in life. Yes. Would be damaging to people or, so, or, or uh, property, and we don't want to get locked up. So, in here, it's a safe way of being able to express yourself in all fields. And anger is one of them. Yes. Yes. So, we're not training people to be angry, but we're allowing them to express themselves to be angry. Yes. Um, we don't do that so much now. We don't get chairs and bash them against the wall and break mm-hmm. them for more energy. Uh, there's a lot more safety now. So we have, you know, backers and we have newspapers rolled up and you can bash them on the floor. Yeah. Or, or boxes of tissues yeah. and stamp on them. Yeah. I, I saw the one that, you know, you, you taught Sarita how to make one. Yeah. That's right, and it makes a very good sound. Yes, it makes it very helpful for people. Yes, it is. Yeah. So this is the design of the stage, and it was used. And this was made in which year, around which year? I would say the early 30s. And then other people developed their stages in hospitals particularly. They would have it in a corner, maybe the size of this room or half the size of this room. There are all sorts of different stages. A direct copy of the Merino stages in Australia and Perth at a place called the Wozni Centre and I've um, enacted many dramas and directed many dramas on that stage. Is it? Mm. Is it still there? It's somewhere. Where I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Um, the, the stage is important but as Moreno said you really uh, can create a space anywhere as in the gardens as on a main stage. Um, Zerka even said you can, um, Zerka Reno being Reno's wife and widow, uh, said you can even do a psychodrama in a room cupboard. 
If you're working in an old people's home and people are in bed, you can get a tray, the, the tray that they bring and have the food on, and on that tray you can do with miniatures, mm. or little pieces of paper, anything, salt and pepper. Yeah. You've created your stage there. It's a free yeah. space. Stage is important. And where your chairs are and how you arrange the stage is very important as well. But in this case, same thing in containment. It's containment. You know you're coming up to a space. You're going to be in that space, and then when you come out of that space, we're finished with that reality. We're back to our normal reality. So even if it is a even if it is hospital tray, mm. it still has containment. Absolutely, it's in the tray and outside the tray. So that is yeah. a, a kind of containment. Yes. But within that containment, yes. or through that containment rather, yes. you're creating a lot of space for expression. Yes. And safety. And safety. Yeah. Because we know here certain things going to happen, and then later not. Now that leads me probably to the audience. Yes, so the yes. audience in, in the psych drama is just, important. Just one question connected to that. So, um, therefore, because there is safety and understanding that this is one world and now I've come out of that, mm. um, therefore, the stage, is the stage the essential bit for creating circus reality? Yes. Mm. yes. So, <laughs> we might discuss that later, but what I'm connected to is that also makes it safe that I've gone in there done my work, this is another reality mm. and now once it is over, mm. I'm back out there mm. into my here and now, mm. this reality. Mm. That's right. So you've got a containment yes, and a space where you can do certain things. Yes. Then when you come out of that, yeah. you're different. So it's not one role, yeah. but when you're on the stage, you're the protagonist mm. and therefore there is the director directing it. You've got auxiliary egos, people taking up certain roles for you, mm -hmm. and then you've got the audience. Yeah. 